and I now give the floor to United Nations Watch. The floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. This council is charged with protecting civil and political rights, which includes the freedom of religion, as guaranteed under Article 18 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Today we ask, is the UN helping the victims who need protection most? Now, I've just seen the latest annual report of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. As documented therein, I wish to list five of the world's worst violators of religious freedom. China, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Nigeria, Eritrea. Second, I will now list five members who sit here on this UN Human Rights Council. China, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Nigeria, and Eritrea. Madam Chair, under Article 9 of this Council's founding charter, member states have a duty to, to, quote, uphold the highest standards in the promotion and protection of human rights. So, we'd like to know, why has there never been a single resolution for religious minorities oppressed by Council members like Pakistan and Saudi Arabia? Now, we've just heard from Pakistan on behalf of the 57-member Islamic group of states. They spoke of Islamophobia and of criticism of religion. Yet, if they truly care about Muslims and for their religious freedoms, why has Pakistan and the Islamic group failed to introduce a single resolution, a single urgent session, a single commission of inquiry for one million Muslims currently being detained in camps and persecuted because of their religion by China. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. And I now